what's going on guys? It's Kevin with Texas Premier Polishing. Today on Salinas, we're gonna be working on a 1960 Streamline all aluminum trailer uh, for a surprise for a lady with fighting breast cancer for a Christmas present surprise for her husband. Uh, let's show you what we're gonna be using today, guys. Uh, first off, we have a safety right here. We have a full face respirator. We have our mechanic gloves and we have our safety flanges for our airway bus. Uh, then we got grinders. Uh, we're using a 6,000 RPM grinder with our first step, which will be our quick cut airway buff with our TR2 Triple E compound. Then we're gonna tone it down to about 2200 RPMs using the Joker wheel with the Green Moss compound. Then our last pass, about 14 to 1600 RPMs with the flannel wheel and the Blue Moss compound. So all we're gonna do now is show you guys how to put these safety flanges on. We get a lot of requests. We see a lot of pictures of wheels that are blown out. That's the last thing we wanna do, guys. So you spend a lot, a lot of time, so you'll feel it every time it comes back around. So what you wanna do is put a washer down, safety flange face down, then grab your wheel. All the airway wheels are going to be directional, so you want to pull up the top layer here and look. So it may not be on one side, so you know this side here comes up. The wheel spins this way, so you don't want this one to be here because the air is going to catch this way. So you flip it over. This is why the sticker. Every Zephyr pad, the direction will be marked with a sticker. So put that on there. Grab that off there. Put your other safety flange down and then put your nut. Go ahead and lock your spindle in. Tighten it all the way down so you can't anymore. Make sure your buffer's not rubbing on the back and you're good to go. All right, first guys, we need to analyze our surface. Before we already got this sanded down, we stripped all the clear coat and sanded it down with the DA. But everything up here has a factory clear coat that we put on it back in the day. So what we'll do first is grab the Easy Prep wheel from Zephyr. It's our satin buff. Set it at about 2200 RPMs and pull backwards. It'll strip all the clear coat real easy right here in the square. clear coat's gone we're gonna grab a DA buffer an orbital buffer uh, he's gonna use 600 grit we're basically gonna change the lines to a smaller line that the DA leaves behind so we'll hit that with a 600 grit and prep it for polishing Now we got our surface prep. We've cut down our satin buff lines from the Easy Prep wheel with our DA 600 grit. Now it's ready to polish. It's going to grab a 6,000 RPM buffer, this quick cut pad, TR2 Triple E compound, and you want to do it shoulder width passes because this stuff's real thin. You want to get it to pop, so you want to do shoulder width passes, not getting one area too big at one time. So he'll knock this piece out and do that first primary cut, give you a mirror shine. primary cuttings done we have a mirror image here but it's not what we're looking for on a piece like this we're gonna take a rag with mineral spirits to get off all this triple e compound it'll just dissolve all that stuff there we don't want any cross contamination when we switch to the joker pad and the green moss just leave it on there we'll grab our green moss compound put a little bit on the joker wheel and just add some color to it scratches are still there, the small scratch is still gone. You don't want to take it all the way down. It's real thin, but it's faster the rustic of the piece. So now what we'll do is wipe it down again. We'll get it ready for the flannel. We'll drop it down the flannel on the dome mat in the blue moon. Give it a little bit more shine. This just brings your lines a little bit together and tighten them down. Just again, leave this on there. It acts like a cheat sheet for you as you go. You'll be able to see exactly where you're at. Our last pass of this, we'll use our flannel buff, 1400 RPMs with just a little bit of Blue Moon compound. That'll 
leaves itself a perfect mirror shine there. All the black's gone out of it. It's got a perfect shine together now. On the bigger sections, it's going to be a little bit different. The small sections are broken by all the rivets. Bigger sections, we'll add one more piece. We'll do the cycle buff with the Pro 40 finish. Stay tuned, guys. We'll have that extra piece for you for the extra pop. Thanks. That, that's it. Just wipe it off in a circle, like so, with a microfiber towel. You leave a perfect mirror shine. Plus, you got all the goodies of the Pro 40 on there, all the sealants, all the repellents.